Hi, I'm Carl and welcome back. Now, a quick update is um, the reason Outpost Discovery's name got changed is we were getting lost in amongst a bunch of um, video game stuff that had uh, uh, an Outpost Discovery level. So, I had to change it. So we are now Adventures in Camping with Carl Turner Jr. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do a quick review of this TP tent from Sportsman's Guide. It's the Gear Guide 14 by 14 TP tent. Stick with me and we'll get right to it. Now, as you can see, I have some duct tape on here because the instructions were not very self explanatory in getting this set up. These things have to be splayed out in order to be able to kind of get them into place and once you get them into place then you can draw them in. But uh, it was a little confusing. It didn't mention that on the instructions. Now as you can see there are loads of tie outs and stake points on this tent. It's a good bad thing. If you have some really good stakes it would probably hold up to a storm very well. Not with the ones they include, they're junk. Okay, they're the normal, cheapy, hey, we give you, we gave you tent stakes, stakes. Okay, the only thing that would be worse than those are uh, wire, which they're pretty close to being. But, one of the good things about this tent is the way this is designed here, Okay, if you want ventilation, you're able to close this. If you don't want ventilation, you can zip that up and close that booger off. That I like. Now, this tent comes with uh, several windows. This window I have opened. Uh, it's crinkly, well, because it's plastic that's been folded up. But it does let light in, and you have several of these around the tent. You can also roll a flap down and cover it up so you don't have to worry about people looking in at night. And this is a view out one of the windows. You can see, I mean, it's not like looking through glass, but it's pretty clear. Now, the other thing is you can also tell, kind of barely, but you can, right here is a tie. So this can be lowered. Whoops. Okay. This can be lowered. And these have little places that you can attach that to keep it closed at night. Okay, so this is the entryway. It gives you a place to get in, and as you can see, this has done a pretty good job of uh, catching most of the sand before it got into the tent. Nice advantage, although it's not attached you have to stake it down separately from the rest of the tent. As you can see at the bottom, there's a little plastic uh, ring there to protect the bottom of the tent. And uh, the reason I picked this size of a tent is that is a queen size blow up mattress that died on us, of course, uh, on this camp out. I think it died on a previous camp out and we just didn't realize it. Anyway, panning up, you see how tall it is. We had plenty of ventilation. And here's a view from the inside of one of the vent windows. The screen vents where you can get some airflow. Oh, and another feature of this tent is they give you a large divider with a zipper in it so you can divide the tent in half. We didn't need it, but uh, if, you have, if you have people over, might be handy. All right, so these are the tent pegs that I made as opposed to the tent pegs they include. The long one is 3 8 square, the short one is 5 16 square. They worked really good. You can see why the other one is the way it is. It's, uh, it bends if you get too heavy of a uh, dense of a material. Well, in summation, Overall, I like the tent. I don't like all the tent pegs. It's a lot of work. 
So it's up to you what you prefer. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Please mash that little subscribe thing in the corner and I'm going to continue to try to do videos like this. I hope this was helpful. God bless y'all. Y'all come back now, yeah?